Shah Rukh and Salman's show of love, the star-studded guest list of Arpita's reception, Virat and Anushka play house. Govinda reveals little-known facts about himself. Welcome to yet another star-studded episode of WeChat Presents 9XE The Show. I'm hot, you're not. I'm a superstar. I'm a superstar. 9XE, 9XE, 9XE. Hello to all you cool people. I am Mia and I am stunned by yet another chapter of Arpita's wedding. Salman Khan hosted a grand reception for his sister in Mumbai. We bring you all the action. Hi guys, I'm Rahul and tonight we're covering the grand celebration of Salman's sister Arpita's reception. No, 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 we don't mean to overload you with celebrities, but that's what the wedding reception was all about. But before we move on to friends and guests, let's take a look at the Grand Can Dance. Now this definitely is a huge family and what you see here is the union of the Khans and the Sharmas. They all look so beautiful. Time now to find out who all walked the red carpet. So stars are walking in gracing the red carpet. I must say that Malaika Arora Khan and Amrita Arora are looking really elegant in their saris. I must also mention Hrithik Roshan who looks really smart in whatever he wears and today he's looking really smart in a suit. Sunakshi Sinha is looking actually really really pretty in her red and golden churidar. There are also other people like Tushar Kapoor, Aditya Rai Kapoor, Shraddha Kapoor, Govinda and Suraj Mancholi who've come in. That's quite a glamorous lineup of stars, and here are some special moments that just cannot be missed. Veteran actor Dilip Kumar, along with wife Saira Banu, was present to bless the couple. Salim Khan even escorted Dilip Sahib. Wasn't that a sweet gesture? Manyata Dutt brought along her lovely twins Sharan and Ikra. We must say Sharan is simply Father Sanjay's mini-me. Siddharth Malhotra and Ritik Roshan were just two of the good-looking lads at the reception. Ritik attended minus his parents. Salman's kick co-star Jacqueline arrived late, she did make it a point to take time out from her endorsements. Sharada Kapoor and Aditya Roy Kapoor attended, but separately of course. And the couple of the moment, Arpita and Ayush, looked stunning. But it seems later on the groom showed no love for those restraining ties. Why not Ayush? After all, you have been so cool and calm through the media circuit. So I guess you want me to go down. Oh no, that's so sweet of him to ask. Yet another visual which pleased our eyes was of Shah Rukh Khan with Salma Khan, Salman's mother. Both Salman and Shah Rukh walked her to the car and Shah Rukh even touched her feet as a mark of respect. It's the things you do for me It's the way you make me feel This is what we call getting back together with Daban. The energy inside the five-star hotel's ballroom was electrifying. Salman and Shah Rukh, who patched up during the wedding festivities, chose to dance away their tiff. They took to the dance floor, shaking a leg to each other's hit songs like SRK's Ye Kali Kali Anke and Chaya Chaya, and of course, a song from their cult film, Karan Arjun. But there are a few famous faces who we thought would not miss out on this reception, but they did. Prime Minister Narendra Modi was supposed to be the guest of honour at the wedding, but he could not make it. Given Salman's closeness to our PM, it was rumoured that Modi would surely make it, but unfortunately, he could not attend. Another person on the list who was a no-show was Katrina Kaif. 
She might have skipped it because Ranbir Kapoor was not extended an invite. Or could the real reason be because she did not want to make him uncomfortable since Salman at the wedding took a fun jab at her choosing Ranbir over him? Oh, complicated relationship. So out of the several names on the guest list tonight, most of them did turn up, but there were some who didn't. I'm talking about Katrina Kaif, Amir Khan and Karan Johar over here, who actually got busy with something else tonight. Anil Kapoor attended Minus Daughter Sonam even though they are co-stars in Prem Ratan Dan Payo. Guest work was Sonam's first priority. Charisma represented the Kapoors along with her father and aunt. Ajay Devgan came in solo because sadly wife Kajal was nursing a fractured leg at home. But she did make it a point to send a video message to the couple on Ajay's phone that actually made Arpita blush. Ooh, wonder what she said. One of the most prominent film families, the Bachans, were not in attendance even though Salman and Mr. Bachan or co looks like a troubled past got in the way. So that was all about Arpita's wedding, but one of the highlights were Shah Rukh confirming that finally all is well between him and Salman. They seem to have resolved their differences and now it's back to the good old happy times for the two. Now Shah Rukh obviously knew he would have to face questions from the media about his patch up with Salman. I think I'm feeling about it, about it, about it, about it. I mean, come on guys, let's not make a big deal out of it and just be happy about their patch up. We've always maintained we have a lot of love, we have a lot of respect and an association of nearly 25 years. Then why hide it from the public eye? To be honest, whenever Salman and me meet personally, uh, our relationship is exactly the same it's been for 25 years. Uh, exteriorly, outside, um, we both are from the past, from the past, we can take our issues, but we are very good. And their love was clearly visible when the two seemed immensely happy to be by their sister's side and that too together. Inshallah, we will share both of our lives in our lives. We wish that too, Shah Rukh. After all, what can be more pleasing than having Karan and Arjun back together? Sorry, I had to say it. But while Shah Rukh and Salman were patching up during the wedding festivities, Priyanka Chopra and Katrina Kaif were doing just the opposite. Apparently, at the wedding in Hyderabad, Katrina and Priyanka royally ignored each other. Katrina has been extremely close to the Khan family and even moved her shooting dates around to be present at the wedding of the year. Not to be left behind, Priyanka too attended the wedding right in the middle of shooting Bajirao Mastani. When it comes to the Khan Dan, Katrina has always been an insider in spite of her breakup with alleged boyfriend Salman. On the other hand, Salman and Priyanka are not known to be the best of friends and despite this, Priyanka read out our Pitta's handwritten letter to her family. This was all thanks to producer-director Sajid Nadiawala who tried to patch them up. Now this must have surely made Katrina not so happy. Plus, let's not forget that they were two of the biggest actresses present at the wedding and you know what they say about actresses being friends? In the past, the two have locked horns. They once raised a huge cry over which one would get to be the show-stopping act during awards function, with Katrina emerging victorious. On sets too, they have ignored each other. While Priyanka shot for her song in Shootout at Wadala, Katrina dropped by to meet choreographer Ahmed Khan, but refused to actually go on set and meet Priyanka. Ouch, these two really know how to give the cold shoulder. But Sushant Singh Rajput is warming up for his role as MS Dhoni in the biopic MS Dhoni, The Untold Story. We caught him with rather long locks which he tried to hide under a cap. But look closely and you'll see that he's got a few highlights done just like our cricket captain once had. The long hair could also be because he was all set to shoot Shekhar Kapoor's panty, but no word on that yet. We can't comment on the exact dates he has allotted for the MS Dhoni biopic, but he will indeed start shooting for it early next year. He will do everything he is required to do, whether it is to do with hair, body or any other. Sushant spokesperson. Director Sanjay Puran Singh Chauhan is also making a film on India's 1983 World Cup victory. Bollywood and cricket have always been intertwined. If it's not making a biopic on a cricketer's life, then it's the cricketers themselves turning actors.
The flamboyant Srisanth, it seems, has been offered a role by Pooja Bhatt in her next film, Cabaret. Looks like he plays mentor and savior to Richard Chadha's character of a cabaret dancer. Apparently, Virat Kohli has been given a chance to walk in girlfriend Anushka Sharma's footsteps and has been offered a film. He, of course, denies it. There is not an iota of truth to these rumors about a film on Anushka and Virat. Request you to please ignore these stories, Anushka's spokesperson. But must say he would have made a very good looking leading man. Last round.